for the district to not honor its commitment. We take our responsibilities for the children of St. Louis very seriously, but we must be treated with respect, and that respect includes just and fair compensation. Compensation for this year and the next year and the direction of any agreement. We deserve fairness in the district union policy agreement and no loopholes big enough to drive a fleet of school buses through. I stand here tonight representing our members and they have directed me to tell you that your last and final offer is not good enough, not fair enough, and does not respect us enough, not through word nor compensation. We ask one again for fairness and just recognition. Our membership voted unanimously to request federal mediation and conciliation service to mediate in negotiation with the district. There are articles that I have provided to you. There is information that we have given you where we took the board's adopted budget and looked through there and found some instances where there were irregularities. One specifically would be the classroom teacher numbers. Last school year, we had 1,000 670 teachers in the budget. This year we have budgeted 1,666 teachers, a loss of four in the classroom. But how can you justify an increase of $4.5 million for a loss of four teachers? No, right? There are questions that we asked about the budget when we met with the district's team. We were told that they would give us that information, but instead of providing answers to those questions, then we asked, we got a last and final offer. Now, we believe in this district, we advocate for this district, and those that are standing here supporting me come every day and do what is asked of them. And they deserve a just compensation. We have a, we have a schedule for the classroom teachers that have been in place since 2003, 2004, and there has not been an increase in that budget to date. But we have not complained. We have worked. We have done everything that has been asked of us to support this district and moving towards accreditation. We think it is time that those who do the work in the classroom with these students are justly compensated. So we ask you that if we cannot get together as the union and the district negotiating, then consider bringing in a third impartial party to come in and assess what the actual expenses of this district is. What are the actual revenues of this district as put in this budget? And then maybe if there isn't any, then we'll come back and say, okay, but right now we don't trust your figures, we don't trust your numbers, and we don't trust that you are this right. So please, as you deliberate over the last and final offer, Consider that these are the ones who do the work and we deserve the money for it. Thank you. Time.